I'm just gonna try to wrap this up really quickly. Um, the, as you can see, there were group roles. The US version is a little more in depth in what they plan to have these roles up in the classroom. So students knew exactly what their roles were. Um, they call this complex instruction classrooms. Um, and you put this chart of the group roles up and then the students are randomly assigned to these groups. And um, so this teaches students to be responsible for each other's learning. And I apologize, I only have one hand. <laughs> so students learn to uh, value each other and they value different ways of seeing and understanding mathematics than just mathematics. Um, they learn to, uh, that each one, each other bring different things to the table and to the problems that they're working on. So uh, as you can see, the students interviewed really realized that um, they were able to work with other people. Um, they had to be open-minded and listen to other people's ideas and that they were teaching each other um, as they were going along. So then as a conclusion, oh dear. Okay, so I'll just follow up here with a conclusion. You'll have to um, move over to the next slide. But the conclusion is equitable and growth mindset teaching is harder than most traditional teaching um, is. So when you teach a class and then you just give everyone worksheets, this is different. This is planned and this is giving everyone equal opportunities. Um, teachers, uh, so basically it's harder than teachers lecture and give short answer questions for practice. It inv involves teaching broad, open, multi-dimensional multi -dimensional mathematics. Um, but it's worth it in the end. Okay, thanks very much.